Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 14. All right, the previous episode, we had a little Christmas party uh, in the end of this uh, episode and it was nice to see Eri again and Aizawa as well, like, you know, kind of acting like the like, you know, guardian of Eri and they had a little, like, you know, a little party and all and uh, like, you know, like, uh, and in the end, in the end, we got a proposal from Shoto, that is, like, he wants Bakugo and Deku to go with him to Endeavor's agency and do the I think the internship the continuation of the internship and I think that's one of the best things that could have ever happened because first of all she's the number one he's the number one hero secondly uh, this will be a very rare chance to get to see Bakugo Deku and Todoroki do stuff together like I feel like like there's never been an opportunity like this where three of them like you know work together like like there have been opportunity before but it was usually either Deku and Bakugo or Bakugo Todoroki Deku Todoroki like this like, like this you know and in, in the emergency situations that was something completely different like at that moment you have to work together but other than that like you know these type of uh, like you know small little work small little missions like this type of things or like you know working under a, a, a person who is like the common boss for three of them like that's a very uh, rare opportunity to see them how like you know Bakugo, Todoroki and Deku works together <laughs> so that's like one of the best things that like can ever happen and I'm really excited to see I'm sure they'll take the opportunity I'm I'm, I'm really excited to see like you know what actually happens <laughs> like, you know three of them working together like <laughs> Okay, I'm ready for that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with My Hero Academia Season 5 Episode number 14. So yeah, I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Few weeks ago, Kyushu. Oh boy. Oh yeah, he's working as a spy. Like Hawks. It's for UA. <laughs> You're talking too much. Oh. What the? He even replied <laughs> to them. <laughs> okay. Can't cast me away. Yeah, true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Damn, psychological battle <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Anti establishment cause. Okay. Hmm. Good. All right. Hmm. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, my God, that was, yeah. Oh. Both lines. Are... Hmm. 
What? Wait, wait, wait. What's happening? Wait, what? Wait a minute. What's happening? Okay. Whoa, is this opening? Yeah, yeah, the new opening. Uh, okay. Whoa, this is really different from the usual My Hero Academia openings. <laughs> Damn, Bakugo! <laughs> oh! Wow, look at that! <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, these are new villains? I guess? I don't know. Okay. Okay. What's oh, a man with a mission? I was thinking we ever heard this voice. It's man with a mission. Damn. Okay. I was wondering where I heard this voice. Man with a mission. Oh my god. Alright, that's I think they showed us a lot of things, but I was barely able to Oh okay. Alright. One day. <laughs> His mom is freaking <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Oh yeah, the the letter. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, now he he's in that position. Oh my god! <laughs> Off to end of a sentence. There you go. One day in a whole year, you're allowed to go and meet your, like, you know, family and relatives. Like, that's... Like, damn. Can't even imagine, like, one day in a year. But you can obviously, like, call and phone your... Okay. Uh... <laughs> Who is this? Whoa. 
Wow, wow. Okay. Okay, calm down. All right, that was just a joke. <laughs> what the? They did not show us his face. He has a Gintoki's voice, isn't it? Ah, wow. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Shoto <laughs> Shoto <laughs> Oh my god Bakugo Calm down <laughs> Yeah what's the matter Shoto <laughs> Hmm Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Um Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> ah. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> like it's, it's true, you know? <laughs> Back to an end of her. Mm. Yeah, he's the first one who kind of like talked back to Endiverse, as far as I can remember. Yeah. What? He's he's running away. What the hell? Oh god, what's happening here? Villain? Yeah. What the hell? What type of weird quirk is this? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, true. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, you're one of them. We should stop you first. What type of quirk is that? Like... Is he like sucking moisture or something? Oh no, sucking the glass. Oh my god. And let well, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but not in this town. <laughs> yeah. Bad timing, old man. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, oh no, what the hell? Um, it won't work. Oh, Todoroki came. Oh, Hoss? Hoss is also here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Star Seven. Uh. Um What the hell is he even on about? Hmm. <laughs> Kid who destroyed his fingers. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Metal liberation? What? Um... Predictions of the prime. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. I got. He's trying to let him know. Yeah. Well, he said that he marked it in the book. So if if you. If you look at the book, maybe you'll get some hint. Yeah. Yeah, take the book. I'm sure there's some hints in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Damn! He's like, oh, I got a chance. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming ahead, Gona? Okay. Yeah, the highlighted portions. <laughs> Second part, okay. No. Oh. Personal responsibility of Whoa Barnin
ओके थर्टी साइड किड्स बागो स्पेस हम्म वाव हम्म हा वो हंड्रेड या Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it was serious this time. I'm sure he's going to figure it out like someone's keeping a watch on him. Second part. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's written there? Um what? Okay. Well, the enemy oh the enemy is oh second the enemy is the liberation okay there you go nah he noticed it not to worry <laughs> yeah Hmm. Okay. The enemy is. <laughs> yeah. The number. Over a hundred thousand. In four months. to action okay they'll attack or they'll rise to action either way oh okay we have new ending as well let's okay what the end of a plushy or I'm guessing Hawks will get a big, you know, portion of this arc because he's been shown a lot of times. So I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! It's picked up suddenly.
All right. Okay, so that's the end. Um, first of all, I'm getting a bad feeling about one thing, you know, like it seems as if I don't know, like, like the way they're showing Hawks so many times, it seems as if something's going to happen to him. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, you know, the, the, the way everything kind of sh got showed and like, you know, how we are seeing Hawks kind of being like the lone wolf doing stuff and like, especially the ending. Uh, I don't know. I hope nothing bad happens. Like, anyways. Okay, so uh, start of a new arc, and this arc obviously is going to uh, focus on the whole um, internship in Endeavor's agency, and at the same time, it's also going to focus on Hawks, most probably, and Endeavor, and uh, like Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku. Now, <clears throat> okay, so now here's the thing. So, so that means like uh, Dabi. Dabi thinks that Hawks is working for them, even though he has some, uh, you know, little uh, suspicion. As Hawks said, that he does not want me going away; like he needs me. So that's why he give me, like you know, another chance. And that's what basically happened. So I'm, I think, like, I doubt Dabi would have asked, like you know, like uh, would have worked with uh, Hawks if he had some other. Uh, know like some other way of doing it like what i'm trying to say here is like because most probably hawks here plays a big role in whatever dabi and the league of villains are trying to do so that's why he's keeping him you know even though he he's also taking the risk of their inside uh like, you know information leaking out i'm sure dabi also realizes that dabi also realizes that yeah like maybe hawks is actually trying to like you know double cross us but he can't do anything about it because, as Hawks said, he needs me. That, that is, he needs Hawks for something. I'm not sure what it actually is. But, yeah. So, <clears throat> so that's why, like, they're also keeping Hawks and keeping an eye on them. Hawks is also kind of keeping an eye on them and, like, you know, leaking information to the uh, hero, like, you know, to, to the heroes. And, um... Like, you know, like in, in this way, kind of like communicating as we saw him actually try using codes to try to communicate with Endeavor and the heroes. So, yeah, now. <clears throat> okay, so. One thing I was a little bit confused here. That best genius, like what was that portion? um like best genius says okay just a sec okay he said uh, like hawk says can't you ask uh you know uh recovery girl and uh this genius says that she can't restore something that has already been lost okay um contrary to expectations it's possible for humans to live without alarm. so wait a minute did he lose his work or something most probably I think so. Okay, uh, Hawk says then, uh, what about your hero work? I plan to expose myself again soon. There are many waiting for me to reform them. Uh, Hawk says, is that right? And he has a feather in his hands. And he says that that's too bad. What was this potion? I'm quite confused here. Like maybe we'll get we'll get a future like you know answers in the future. Maybe it's like you know deliberately done this way so that we get confused here and in the you know in the later portions we're going to get some kind of confirmation as to what's actually happening here. So like I don't know. Like something must be going on with Best Genius and Hawks because he says that that's too bad and he's holding a feather in his hands i don't know anyways um i'm sure we'll get some answers in the future <clears throat> okay uh all right uh and then we get to the um 
section of and like you know endeavors uh, them joining in endeavors oh no before that we get to see another character here whose face was not shown obviously and uh, who is kind of talking with uh hawks and he says something like just a sec okay and he's talking as if he's keeping an eye on hawks he says that you almost bought black coffee and panicked a little, huh? And Hawk says, I like it sweet. So, I think something's going on in, in the background, which I'm probably, like, I can probably guess what's happening, but I'm not sure about it. Like, so, yeah, like, I'll keep this, all of these uh, situations in my mind, because I'm sure we'll get a, proper answer in the future episodes because you know everything like this this episode like a lot of things kind of smells fishy about uh, a lot of like you know like the whole thing with best genius that happened now like this another character whose face we are not being shown i don't know why and this guy like you know kind of is talking with hawks and like And he says that I've, I've been watching for quite a while. You brought black coffee and panicked and all that stuff. So these things like, you know, kind of <laughs> fishy. Uh, I'm still not able to pinpoint what's actually happening, but I'm sure I'm, get, I'm going to get my answers in the future. But yeah, now in, in the next scene, we get to see uh, three of them, Bakugo, Deku and Todoroki uh, actually reaching Endeavor's uh, in front of uh, like you know like endeavor's place and they actually get involved in this whole uh villain like you know a new villain that is using the glass and he calls himself um, just a sec just a sec Yeah, like this place is also a little bit fishy. Like the way the villain was kind of talking about some kind of darkness, like you know. Yeah, he's saying that that guy's the source of the darkness. The light he gives off brings darkness and demise. But yeah, anyways, uh, that happens and Hawks comes in and he brings out the Metal Liberation War book all right um okay it has predictions about the present if you give freedom to a limited number of people then the negative consequences will go to the others okay uh if you don't have time Okay, I've highlighted it. <laughs> Read those parts. Okay, the leader of the Metal Liberation Army, Destro, ultimately wanted um, a society completed by personal responsibility. Alright, personal responsibility. It goes with the times. If that comes to fruition, then we'll have time on our hands. Okay. All right. So like the whole section happens now. Uh, he like obviously we can see like he's hinting uh, to read the second part. Uh, and by second part, he actually meant the second, no, the second uh, word of each like highlighted portions, which always and endeavor got to know in the end. You know, was able to figure out. Now, okay, the actual um, what is that portion? The actual message that he tried to give us. The enemy is the liberation. Okay, uh, 
the enemy is the liberation army the number over 100,000 and he said something about like uh, they're going to start after like you know go, go into action after four months yeah all right so this liberation army that they're talking about this is this is a whole new thing that's happening and obviously they they are uh, involved with the um hero uh, the, the villains like i'm i'm checking this whole portion because there's a lot of things to actually understand from this one episode like they gave us a lot of information in a very what can i say roundabout way like i can actually understand like you know like what like you know the, the whole thing is like full of secrecy and little bits and portions of information has been like you know given to us in certain certain points all right guys i checked everything out it took me a little bit of time to check everything out because i was really like you know like i'm very confused about a few things first of all one thing that i actually realized after checking everything out again like you know like slowly slowly listening to everything is uh the thing with best genius mm, like i like when he said like the, the way everything is said is kind of really confusing here that's why i was unable to actually grasp what he was actually trying to say so when uh like you know when hawk says that you couldn't ask the old lady at you to help he says that um she can't restore what's already being lost now at that moment i thought that oh did he lose his quirk or something like you know like because it was uh like uh he fought with uh all for one uh like because of that i thought that maybe he lost his quirk that's why he's saying that it uh, was like you know, he can't restore what's already been lost like this this portion is like worded very really weirdly and then he says just contrary to expectations it's possible for humans to live without a lung the, and then i actually realized no no he's not talking about his uh, quirk he's talking about his lungs like you know like so like he lost one of his lungs so that got properly cleared out now here's another thing that i actually realized remember when uh, darby was talking with um <coughs> hawks he said something like uh, like bring some heroes like, you know like uh, next time let let it not be someone who's extremely strong like the number one hero like, you know like because and like uh, darby like 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 you know the, the first time hawks brought endeavor so this time he wants uh, another hero who is not as strong as endeavor the thing that we see in the next scene where uh, hawks says that uh, like he said something like i'm sorry like you won't just a sec like best Jean says that someone's like everyone is waiting for me to reform them and <clears throat> um yeah hawks brings out a feather and says that that's too bad like you know and now this is the thing like just a sec like i realized that he was actually trying to say that he was going to capture or do something to best genius you know like that's why he said like okay like that's too bad now i'm sure this is something that he's going to act as if like yeah i got best genius for you like you know for the league of villains and he's going to bring best genius to them something like that obviously he, he will not like you know put best genius in harm's way maybe he will but he i'm sure he has some other plans to let best genius get out of that situation because i'm pretty sure he is like you know like to to show his loyalty to the league of villains he's going to somehow bring best genius in front of the like you know league of villains so something like that is going to happen so yeah that's probably it like i was thinking like what's actually happening like you know like there like it's, it's probably something like that another thing that i actually realized here is um like the league of villains said that they are keeping an like you know i not i but they're, they're keeping uh, like like they're going to look uh, not look sorry they're going to uh, spy on everything that he's going to say like you know like so that they can actually realize if he's trying to double cross them or not like Dabi said that that will keep an eye out on you so like that probably means that somehow this liberation army that they're talking about like you know like when hawks uh, actually uh, like use symbols 
to let Endeavor know that the Liberation Army is going to start working, you know, come into action after four months. That probably means that this Liberation Army is somehow connected to the um, League of Villains. Otherwise, why the hell would, like, you know, uh, Hawks try to uh, convey that to Endeavor in symbols? You know, like he could have just said that if they had no connections with each other, you know, the League of Villains and the Liberation Army. So that probably means that he does not want the League of Villains to actually know that he's trying to warn the like warn Endeavor about the Liberation Army. So that's why he used the the well, like you know, the book and everything like as a way of uh, actually conveying the message to Endeavor in code, uh, like you know, in code format. So that's what's probably happening like these few things i i had a little bit of confusion but after like checking it out for one or two more times i i think like this is what is actually happening so what's actually happening here is like this dabi you know dabi actually wants to recruit hawks into uh like you know like into their like into league of villains because because uh like you know like he he could act as a spy for them like they think that's what they're going to do but contrary to that Hox is actually double crossing them by acting as a spy for the UA, for the heroes. Dabi has a little bit of a confusion, like you know, a, a suspicion about that. So he says, some, like he he must have gave him some kind of a task to bring some hero to us, you know, and like you know that will prove your loyalty. So that's why like the first time he brought Endeavor, and Dabi says that no, Endeavor is too strong. We don't need Endeavor. Bring someone who we can handle. So this time he like you know Hawks is trying to like you know use best genius as a bait or something to prove that yeah I am loyal to the League of Villains something like that he's trying to do most probably and like after I'm, I'm sure like you know after he does, does that uh, like Darby and the League of Villains will uh, accept Hawks as their own and they're going to like you know tell Hawks to keep an eye out for the UA like you know spy on the UA spy on the heroes and give them information that's what's happening here like it took me a little bit of time but I actually like thought about it and I think this is what's actually happening and like like at the same time Hawks is kind of uh, like double crossing them obviously and using this like the little information that he's getting as like you know in, in code format to tell Endeavor and all the other people uh, all, all the heroes and he even like handed those books to uh, uh what do you call them uh todoroki Shot, uh todoroki bakugo and um deku but i doubt that's highlighted oh, i think only endeavor's book was highlighted to let him know but yeah uh this is probably what's happening and uh yeah and but i still am unable to actually understand what's what happened at that moment where, where, where the the guy whose face was not shown he was talking with Hawks. That that portion still is kind kind of confusing me. I'm sure I'll get my answers later on. Like you know the whole thing with coffee that he said that you kind of like you know uh, it seems as if that guy is keeping an eye out on Hawks. I'm not sure why, but I'm sure I'll get my answers in the future. So yeah, like something big is happening here. Like I only thought that this is going to be something like they're going to do their internship and also like they're going to obviously do the internship but at the same time hawks is also involved in this in a big way so somehow like i'm guessing like both of them is going to kind of coincide at the same point and bakugo deku and todoki are also going to get roped in into this whole liberation like army thing that's going to happen i'm not sure but yeah that's what's probably going to happen so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to my academia season 5 episode number 14 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day